Now we have reached the fun part, installing our Venturi and saddle clamp kit. The parts included in the Venturi saddle clamp kit are one Venturi ball valve assembly, which will connect from the chlorine output to the flex pipe. The kit will contain two isolation ball valves that connect to each saddle clamp, one three quarter inch Venturi, one one quarter inch female thread thread coupler to connect the Venturi to the Kynar elbow, three quarter inch flex PVC pipe to connect the two saddle clamps, a three quarter inch female adapter to connect the Venturi to the PVC pipe, one one quarter inch Kynar elbow to connect the Teflon tubing to the Venturi, a half inch PVC cap to plug the chlorine vent tube, and finally your saddle clamps. Your saddle clamp sizes will depend on the pre-existing plumbing. Now that you are familiar with the contents of the Venturi saddle clamp kit, we can begin the Venturi installation. The tools needed for this section are a 7 8 inch hole saw, PVC glue and primer, Teflon tape, and two 7 16 inch wrenches. First, you will identify installation locations, the high pressure and low pressure locations. For the high pressure side, plumb after the pool filter and before the heater. The heater will provide back pressure, which will cause more water flow through the Venturi. For the low pressure side, plumb into the very end of the return line before it goes underground and into the pool. To install the saddle clamp and Venturi on the high pressure side, first shut the pool pump off and check for isolation valves to close any water sources particularly if the pool is above equipment level. Identify the location on the existing plumbing where the saddle clamp will be installed. Drill a hole into the existing PVC with a 7 8 inch hole saw. Note that each saddle clamp will have a recommended hole size. Two and three inch saddle clamps sold by Ultimate Water require a 7 8 inch hole. Hole sizes relates to the port size, not the clamp size. At the site of the drilled hole, deburr and remove any residue. Place the rubber o-ring that comes with the saddle clamp inside the clamp around the opening. Then, attach the saddle clamp to the pipe using the nuts, bolts, washers that are included with the saddle clamp kit. Washers must be placed under each bolt head and each nut to avoid damage to the saddle. Check the saddle clamp to determine which size wrench is called for. Locate a 3 quarter inch nipple and wrap male threaded ends with 3 to 4 wraps of Teflon tape. Screw the 3 quarter inch nipple onto the 3 quarter inch female connection of the saddle clamp. Screw the 3 quarter inch isolation ball valve onto the nipple. Locate the Venturi and wrap the male threaded ends with 3 to 4 wraps of Teflon tape. Screw the Venturi into the isolation ball valve via the hex nut of Venturi using the adjustable wrench. Note that the Venturi is asymmetrical. It is important to install the short end of the Venturi into the isolation valve. The barbed connection, which will inject chlorine into the line, should be closer to the isolation valve end of the Venturi. The Venturi cannot be installed where water is flowing downwards into the Venturi, so be sure to orient it correctly when installing. Also, if squeezed too firmly with the wrench or over tightened, the Venturi can snap and break, so please treat it gently. Locate the 3 quarter inch female adapter and screw the threaded end onto the Venturi. Next, we will install the saddle clamp on the low pressure side. Double check to ensure that the pool pump is shut off and check for isolation valves to close any water sources. Identify the location on the existing plumbing where the saddle clamp will be installed. Ensure saddle clamp is set to be installed into the end of the return line before it goes underground and into the pool. Drill a hole into the existing PVC with a 7 8 inch hole saw. At the site of the drilled hole, deburr and remove any residue. Place the rubber o-ring that comes with the saddle clamp inside the clamp around the opening. Then, attach the saddle clamp to the pipe using the nuts, bolts, and washers included with the saddle clamp. Washers must be placed under each bolt head and each nut to avoid damage to the saddle. Check the saddle clamp to determine which size wrench is called for. Locate a 3 quarter inch nipple and wrap threaded ends with three to four wraps of Teflon tape. 
screw the three quarter inch nipple onto the three quarter inch female connection of the saddle clamp. Screw the three quarter inch isolation ball valve onto the nipple. Now we are ready to connect the low and high pressure sides. Locate the three quarter inch PVC flex pipe and ensure the path of the flex pipe can run in a straight path from low pressure to high pressure. Secure the flex pipe with zip ties to existing pipes to prevent sagging to reduce weight on the Venturi. Use PVC primer and PVC glue to prime and glue both ends of the three quarter inch PVC flex pipe. Insert one end of the flex pipe into the low pressure side at the three quarter inch isolation ball valve and follow recommended dry time on glue instructions. Route the other end of the flex PVC to the high pressure side of the Venturi. Cut off any excessive flex PVC and insert into the fitting at the Venturi. Again, following recommended dry time on glue instructions. Now we will connect the chlorine line into the Venturi. Unscrew the barb fitting of the suction port from the Venturi. Wrap the threaded end of the barb fitting with three to four wraps of Teflon tape. Locate the one quarter inch female coupler and screw the barb fitting onto the one quarter inch female coupler. With a newly assembled piece, the barb fitting and coupler, thread the assembled piece onto the Venturi. Hand tighten until it stops twisting. Be sure not to over tighten the piece as the barb fitting can break. Then locate your one quarter inch Kynar elbow and wrap the threaded end of the elbow with three to four wraps of Teflon tape. Screw the elbow into the open end of the one quarter inch female coupler and face the elbow toward the Chlorine Genie unit. Attach the one quarter inch Teflon tubing into the elbow and hand tighten the fitting on the elbow to secure the Teflon tubing. Then route the Teflon tubing up to the chlorine output of the Chlorine Genie. Next, connect the chlorine line to the Chlorine Genie. Locate the half inch nipple connected to the Chlorine Genie at the chlorine output and locate the Venturi actuated valve assembly. Wrap the half inch nipple with three to four wraps of the Teflon tape and screw the Venturi actuated valve assembly onto the nipple via the threaded coupler connected to the flex PVC at the top of the assembly. Attach the one quarter inch Teflon tubing into the elbow at the bottom of the Venturi actuated valve assembly and hand tighten the fitting onto the elbow to secure the Teflon tubing. Now we are almost done. Here are the final installation steps. All glue connections should be dry on the Venturi assembly, but check glue manufacturer labels to ensure sufficient time has passed. Turn on the pool equipment and water source. Open the isolation valves. Now that the Venturi installation kit is completely installed, these valves should remain open. Locate the Teflon tubing coming off the Venturi Follow the line to the Chlorine Genie and unscrew the fitting at the elbow to release the Teflon tubing. Attach a vacuum gauge to the end of the Teflon tubing to gauge suction. We need a minimum of 5 inches of vacuum. The optimal amount of vacuum is 10 to 20 inches. Reach out to Ultimate Water Support for help increasing or reducing vacuum at the site of the Venturi. With optimal vacuum, all chlorinated water and excess chlorine gas are pulled out of the unit which eliminates the need for a chlorine vent and your Venturi is now successfully installed.